Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. I'm back on a spending ban, okay? Like a real life, not gonna buy any more makeup for like a long time spending ban or scarves. Okay. It's just, it's holidays. Cause the thing is, when you're on holidays, you have to buy stuff. That's the way it is. And like I know I was on a spending ban beforehand, but the rules of life state that when you are in an airport slash international country, that the rules of spending bans do not apply. I broke the rules like a really lot, like a lot. So I went to Spain twice recently. First to Barcelona for a weekend and I only bought a few things because we had hand luggage. And then I was in Alicante where I just bought like a few more things. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. And that's it. No more spending for at least the summer. So first off, I went to the airport and I wanted to get a new brow product. You know me, you know that I have issues with my brows and I love the Urban Decay Brow Beater. So I was like, what better thing to do than to repurchase the brow beater in the airport? And then I was like, well, what if there's something better out there? This is what was wrong with me. So I started researching and I came across a couple of reviews on this brow product that I will show you from the MAC. Okay, it's still in the box and it's called MAC Eyebrows. It's called Fling Eyebrow Pencil, okay? And I looked at swatches online and I was going, you know what, that's a perfect match for my eyebrows. I'm gonna be assorted. Lads, this is love. Like, I think that this has taken over the Urban Decay Brow Beater, just saying. That's based on it being used about three times so far, but still, you know yourself, you know. Um, so yeah, it just comes, it's one of those little teeny weeny pencils, like twisty up your pencils, but the thing is, when you twist it up, you can't twist it back down, so you only have to twist up as much as you're going to need. And there's no spoolie on the end, but sure it's grand, but like you can see on the end that it's a really cool toned, ash blonde, love it, have it on today. I'll do a full review on that actually, because, um, it would just help justify the fact that I bought another brow product, like a new one. Because I haven't heard that much about this actually, to be honest. Because I was going to get something. I was going to get, was it Lingering? No, that's what I call. I don't know, there's another eyebrow pencil that like a lot of people talk about from MAC. But um, yeah, Fling, it's called Fling. Eyebrows, love it. If you're blonde or have like fair hair or don't have like two mad ass brows, not mad ass brows. <laughs> yeah, get this, it's great. Anyway, full review because I've only used it as I said three times. Put it back in the box because that's what you do. And then I decided that I wanted to buy a new powder. Why? I don't know. I have loads of powders, but I just wanted to give the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish another go. So I got it in the shade Medium. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, isn't it? Yeah, in the shade Medium. And I remember when I first started blogging and I had one of these and I was like, oh my God, I love it so much. But since I've gone on to try other powders. So I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna give this another go. If you use it today, really nice. If you want like an up if you want an update or review, let me know. This is the shade medium, um, because I thought that the light ones are a little bit too light. Do you know? Oh, it's magnetic. I just that's that's really nice. I really enjoy that. <laughs> I don't know. What is it with like makeup junkies and magnetization? So in Alicante, in the main city, there is a Kiko and a Sephora, and so I went into Kiko. I didn't actually buy anything in Sephora because. I don't know, there was nothing really that took my fancy. Um, so I went into Kiko, and do you want to see what I got? Okay. So, I got these two polishes because they were on sale for like 190. This one, this is number 52, are they both? Yeah, 52, and it's gorgeous. I have a picture of this on my Instagram, so go check it out. And it's like a really mermaidy, bluey, greeny, goldy, glittery, just love it for summer. Um, so that's delightful. And then I bought this shade, which is 62. I have makeup all over my hands. This is shade 62. And it's like a taupey base with goldy, silvery shimmer running through it. It is stunning. Like for somebody who likes a really like nice, natural, neutral nail, but still with a bit of sparkle, then this is lovely. Um, Kiko do ship to Ireland. So um, go to the Kiko website and you can spend a lot of money there. Like lads, I swear to God, their stuff is just gorgeous i bought i think the last time i was there last year i bought a foundation from kiko love it we'll leave the link for the review below because it's delicious so i bought those and then i just bought like a single eyeshadow i don't know why i did that this is number 124 and i don't know it just i swatched it and i thought that it was very intriguing it's like just looks like a normal brown I don't want to touch it until I photograph it. But on my hand, it was like a cool toned brown. But I just thought it'd be really nice as a wash of colour over the eyelid. Like, where, why did I do this? Like, I don't need another brown eyeshadow. But I love it. I can't remember how much it was. Because I just wasn't paying attention to prices. Like, a couple of years. 
So yeah, that's number one, two, four. Um, so I'll let you know how I got on with that. I might either snap it or do a Instagram slash like makeup. Maybe I'll do like a little spotlight on Kiko. Then, wait, I bought two of, wait. Uh, I bought two of these. These are the Mirage Lip Stylo um, in the shade number, is that one or 10? One and um, oh three. And I don't know if you remember, but I bought, <laughs> wait, I know. I don't know why I didn't take them out of the box. I just have this thing. I bought this one um, when I was in Barcelona, but this is the one that I bought in Alicante because I wanted to back up because I'm obsessed with this shade. It is a gorgeous, glossy, neutrally nudie nude that is so easy to wear and it feels really comfortable on the lips. It's really moisturizing, hydrating, and it is my perfect summer lipstick, if not my perfect lipstick, like a long time. It's so nice. I just, yeah, it's really nice. Did I say that it's nice? <laughs> So I bought the nude one, and um, so that's my backup, so I'm not going to use that until I use up the other one, which I'd say I'm going to finish like pretty soon, because I'm like, oh, hair and through it. So I bought number three, which is, have a guess what colour it is. It's the coral. Um, yeah, so I had to get the coral one as well, because there is just something wrong with me. And I need more coral stuff. No, I don't need more coral stuff. But listen, I am Miss Coral. Anyway, I'm really excited to try this, so I'm going to photograph the two of those, and then I will do a swatchy blank post because when you're buying from Kiko you're buying blind basically because there are no swatches online and you can't get it here and I like to kind of touch and see the makeup so I'll do that for you if you'd like to spend your money on Kiko in Kiko and then I just saw this in passing okay so this I took it out of the box because I'm good this is the creamy color comfort lip liner in number 301 does it look familiar Very, 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 very close to to the lip cheat in Pillow Talk. I'll do a compare and contrast and let you know if it is. Now that's based on me looking at it and like looking at the other one, at the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I'll do like a swatcheroo when I photograph it and let you know if it's, it's um, worth picking up. So I have no idea how much that all came to because I was on my holidays and I didn't count it. When we were in one of the big um, supermarkets over there, I think it was Carrefour. Or Yorosky. I don't know. Um, I picked up these two, right? And I was standing there like Luna God, somebody smell me. Tell me which one to get. Um, yeah, I've never heard of this brand before. It's Aqua di Victorio e Lucino. Yeah, and this is number one and number three. So look at the absolute size of them. I do remember that these were 15 euro each, which is a bargain because look at the size of the bottle that you get. This one, hold on, this smells really great. Okay, it says Hydra, iris and amber. I don't know what that means in Spanish. I'll let must Google it. This smells really green and fresh and marini and florally and just gorgeous. I used to wear this during the day. I know it doesn't look like I sprayed much, but it comes out as a spritz. Yeah, this is a really nice daytime scent. Um, so if you're in Spain, get that. I don't know if you can get it here. Oh, too heavy. And then, and then the other one, the second one, it's number one and it's Bergamota Azar, ah, Azahar, a patchouli. I don't know what bergamot or patchouli is. This one. This is a scent that you'd wear in the evening because it's kind of like musky and warm and makes you do this with your fingers. <laughs> it's really nice. I love these. So these are going to be my summer scents, I believe, for this year. Ooh, real heavy. Did well to bring those back. They're fucking heavy. And then coming home in the airport, I just bought one thing because I was very good slash broke. And I bought this. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I bought it in the shade number two Alabaster. And this is for dry combination to combination oily, which I thought was very intriguing. I was like, God, those two are very at the opposite end of the skin spectrum. So I just wondered how it would work. So swatched it, said, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Look at it. I haven't had a Clinique foundation in ages and it's, yeah, Beyond Perfecting. Look at this. Never seen this before. It's like a dirty big doe foot applicator. Doesn't smell. Um, I've used this today. So nice. So nice. But as I said, this is the first time that I've worn it. It went on really evenly. The coverage was flawless. Like pretty much flawless. But without feeling cakey or heavy on the skin. And then I also used it as well to um, conceal under my eyes. I, I took, I applied it. Took my makeup off. And then applied it again for this face today. Um, so I'm going to test that out properly over the next week or two. And let you know how I get on. Put it back in the box and see. I applied it with a beauty blender, worked really well. Applied it with the brush, also worked really well. And that's all the makeup that I bought. I may have bought other things. Stand by. 
So on the way over to Spain, um, it was like stupid o'clock in the morning. I think our flight was at a quarter to seven. So we were having a look in the shops, waiting for the flight to board. And Joanna got a gorgeous pair of sunglasses. And the whole time I was like, oh, I love them. Like, I love them. And so she bought them in Parfois. And when we were over in Spain, they have a few Parfois. -es -es. So I had a little look. And then I found it on like the second last day, I think it was. And I was like, I thought I'd be with my life. Look, so usually I can't wear Wayfarers because they make me look sad. I'm very much enjoying the mirrored lenses and yeah I could see like a normal person so I loved those the only thing that I don't like is that when you put them on the top of your hair look at that you're right it reefs the hair off you so we're going to be sunglasses twins and they were 12 99 so keep on eye for them I just think they are stunning stunning and look they came in like a really cute little pouch too okay you know that I love my scarves okay so I just I when I why I stocked up a little so I bought this one in Parfa as well on the same day as my sunglasses and it is this gorgeous periwinkle blue and it has a little bit of like a design there you can see it like that and it's really light but I'm going to try them all on because I want to. Oh I love this because I think this is a gorgeous colour to wear in the summer to hide stains. <laughs> not to keep me warm, obviously not. Well maybe in Ireland, I don't know. But um, yeah this is like a nice bib isn't it? Oh I love I bought this one in the market. I thought it was so cute because I'm very into my nautical theme. And this was like two or three euro. And look, it's white with little anchors on it. Can you see it on both sides? Yeah. So, because I have like a lot of navy and white stuff. So I just thought this would be nice. Now this won't help too much with the stains because if I drop something on this, you can see it like a lot. But yes, totally enjoy that. Also at the market, I bought this one. Um, yeah, they didn't have too many nice scarves at the market. Usually I come home with dozens, but I kind of made up for it. Um, but yeah, this one is kind of like pastely pinky grey what's that thing called leopard print with designs here I don't know just thought this would be nice to wear yep <laughs> I said this before in my last video the monthly favourites one that Stradivarius is my new favourite scarf shop I love it obsessed so I bought two look at that that's so cute it's a little navy and kind of blue polka dot scarf and again see I love see the way it's real light and flouncy this was 9 oh, This just makes me really happy. Again, I will need to eat dry food when I wear this. But it's very enjoyable. I know that this pose is very enjoyable too. Don't you love it? Because I do. Look at this one. Again from Stradivarius. And it has little tassels on the end. I do enjoy an L tassel. Again, oh no, this was 12 95 Breaking the bank, lads. I'm going to try this on. See, so yeah, I have very American of me to have like red, white, and blue. But I love it. Oh my god, this is gonna be my screenshot. <laughs> I just think that's really nice. It's really colourful and lovely and makes me happy. So one of the days we went into Santa Paula and we we're having a wander on the beach and it was grey and it was kinda of, not a bit chilly, but it was nice. And there's a shop that we go to on the seafront there called Rebecca and they sell handbags and shoes and scarves and glasses and purses and stuff. So obviously I went in and I bought two scarves. Shut up. Got this one. I just thought this is really nice. It's kind of nautically beachy. Not really nautical, just more beachy. And it has like this design. Like this. So on both sides, yeah. Again, I thought this would be nice with a white top. And then I can use that to hide my stay. So then this one, I think this is my favourite scarf that I got in Rebecca. So it's grey, but then it has tassels on the end in like turquoise and coral. Wait, can you see? Turquoise and coral and white. Oh, hold on. Very into tassels now. Look, so that's so cute. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, enjoy tassels. So, yeah, I can't remember how much that was. Like, maybe six euro. I think the other one was six euro too. So those are the scarves that I got. So if you see me on Snapchat or on here with scarves, they're probably going to be one of those, okay? So I did buy three in Barcelona that I showed in my previous video. So watch that if you want to have a look. In Rebecca, the place that I bought the last two scarves, I bought this cute clutch. I can't... I can't cope with, I just, wait, you see, I'm ready. Oh, I can't even, I can't cope. It's just this gorgeous neon zone thing. I don't know how to describe it. Look, it has a carol tassel. Does it match my jumper? Yeah, it does. Um, and it's just, oh shit, <laughs> it's just um, cream plastic, I mean, it's not leather, um, on the back and it has a little gold, um, handle if I wanted to use it on my shoulder and look at these cute little mirrors and I just this 
and look it goes with the nail polish that was 1995 bit spendy but listen nobody else gonna have it unless they sell them in pennies now <laughs> for like fiver so when we go over to Spain we always rent a car and I usually drive and so Claire and Stephen bought me this necklace to say thanks because I was looking at it in the shop and then the next thing I came out of the shop I was like no I'm not gonna buy it. I don't need it came out of the shop and then Claire goes oh look I bought your present for driving thanks very much is that not gorgeous it's from what's it called Bijou, Bijou Brigitte it is so beautiful so I'm going to wear that in upcoming videos thanks Claire and Stephen thanks that's just so nice it's like a piece of art oh that is going to feature as a prop in blog post is that a lovely screenshot so onto the homey wear kind of part of this video and there is a ceramic place that's close to where we stay and um, we said oh we have a little look and I was like Will don't even because he's like a bullet in a china shop literally um, so I was like oh well don't touch anything don't look at anything so we went and we had a look and I bought this mug so I wanted to buy myself something there I hadn't bought anything from there in years like we've been going there for years <laughs> it's a lemon mug a lemon I can't remember how much it was but they're like handmade and hand painted and stuff and I just thought this is the cutest thing would that not be really cute oh god I hope I don't break this <laughs> here I'll just put it here for now oh it's so cute I love it so one of the days it was raining and we went to this outlet shop about 20 25 minutes from where we were and I had a corte and glaze but an outlet version so we're having a little wonder and I was like oh my god I just saw these two things I fell in love and I was like Do you know what I am a lunatic I'm gonna bring them home but I love them and look they're little trays this one was six euro it, I can't no no I just can't cope it's like a little seashell thingies I love that and then I bought a bigger one this one and this was eight euro just for like not for tray not for, to use it as an actual tray but as a prop and a photo and it'll be nice for like barbecues and stuff whenever I get bored of taking photos of it but look oh do you know what I'm a lunatic who goes on holidays and buys props for blogs me me I do there was a Zara home a couple of Zara homes there so I think I was very restrained in the grand scheme of things and so I only bought four things as props <laughs> oh my god I just have to make my photos the best ever I still have them in the spongy shit so I, I got this um look at this this is not gorgeous does this not make you think of like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom or the Last Crusade or whatever the one that had the Chalice of Life or whatever it's called I just think it's gorgeous. I'm not going to use it to eat out of yet. I think it's glass and the outside is painted. I, I can't eat. This is like 5 .95. Where would you be going? I bought this little mini marble plate thingy. This was 3 .99. I thought it was cute. I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. But I loved it. It's so cute. And then I bought this one. Oh. 5.99 mother of pearl kind of little side plate thingy i don't know maybe i could like put stuff in it i don't know so that's the size there if you wanted to have a little look but yeah this is 5 dollars 3 dollars delightful be careful then the last thing i got is something that i've been looking for for ages um and so look at this oh my god it was 20 euro it's a little mirrored tray with the glass sides with like gold detailing and i just thought that would be cute on my table or here with like a little candle or something i don't know but i just know that i love when I saw it and I was like oh my god that's the one because they had bigger ones for like big circular ones for 30 euro and I was like I think that might be a bit too big Phew, I thought there was a mark on the glass mirror and I was going to like lose my shit and um, so they only had one in the shop and John was like oh my god I really want one so, but it turns out she after finding one in a, in a different um, Zara home so isn't that not gorgeous oh yeah I'm just not making noises I sound really weird seriously like I know I've said it before spending man is back on I'm not going to buy anything else. I don't need to buy anything else. I'm not going to buy anything else. I'm going to save so much money over the summer and then not know what to do with myself. But yeah, I loved Spain. Had the best week. Got to relax. Got to chill. I got to take some photos of blog stuff. And yeah, it was brilliant. Now I have to wait another year to go back. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because um, we're kind of getting back into the swing of the whole YouTube thing. So I'm just totally enjoying it. And if there's anything makeup wise that you want to see a review of first, let me know. I'll sort it out. The foundation review is going to be coming really soon. Love my face. <laughs> Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.